Hey folks, Darren from Deanna Auto Sales. Uh, I got another one I want to show you today, do a video on. Um, here at the shop. The guy's been working on. Let's check it out. There it is. 1971 Dodge Tradesman 300. This is a sundial. Kind of rare. Actually very rare. Hard to see. Hard. These are kind of hard to find. Um, here's the deal on this one. It's uh, rust free, incredibly solid, runs and drives great, um, but we're not, I'm, I'm offering this one as a unrestored original. Uh, we're not going to go through this one and fix everything on it. It's going to be sold as is, but I want to show it to you and uh, let you check it out in a minute. Like I said, the body is rust free. Um, tires on it look look about new. They are 16s. These come originally with 16 fives, which are kind of hard to find those tires. The rims have been upgraded to a 16 inch rim. So the tires are in great shape on it. Chrome's nice. Paint's nice. I love the old West Coast type mirrors. Got a really different shaped top on it. Haven't seen this this shaped top before. Different running lights up top. This is all original paint. Hasn't been an accident. Had a, it's got a couple dings and dents on it, but it's all original paint and it shines that nice. The top's a little dull from fading over the years. Here's a little dent down here. Looks like they may have had a blowout at one time and put a dent in it right there. A couple minor scuffs back there. That's what the back looks like. Old fashioned trailer hitch on it. This back bumper has a dent in it, pushed into the fender a little bit. Uh, water heater there. This is where you get where it gets plugged in at, underneath the fender, right there. A couple storage units here, and then the back of the toilet is there. There's your toilet dumps. Back of the refrigerator, little window up there. Step back. Just a cool old vintage van. So we'll do a quick lap around it and then I'll show you the inside. The inside is way cool, all original. Again, we haven't tested all the systems on this. The propane tank is down there. The handle leaks when you open it up. So that'll need to be replaced and fixed. So the propane system has not been tested. But check this out. Talk about groovy. How's that? Look, shag carpeting, orange, green, turquoise. Little cabinet here. Cup holders for tailgating. Up in front here, you got a little table. The seat sits around, so you got a little table right there. This is the shower and the bathroom. I'll show you that in a second. Very 70s spindle color. It, and it's all in great shape. It's really, really nice. It's all original, has not been restored. Cool uh, U shaped table in the back that. Folds down into a bed. Got a little bunk up top. Very little. I would not fit up there and sleep anyways. Top up here has got a little bit of water damage from over the years there. Brown toilet, uh, paper towel holder. Cupboards. Now the refrigerator does work. Little refrigerator down here. That works. Uh, so here's his, here's the shower. Let me show you this a minute. So you got a curtain here, folds open, snaps around like that, and then the toilet. Oops, I'm turn that. Sits so down like that. So it's a little toilet and a shower. Shower water head would go there. Again, a little bit of water damage up in there. So yeah, kind of neat. Up front, you got a cupboard there and a little spot for junk. But here's the cool part. 
34,000 original miles on this thing. Let me show you out back here a second. Take my two hands. So, there we go. so when you look at like this kind of stuff, see how clean it is. Underneath is absolutely solid, no rust. This is the water tank back here. Um, this is a water tank fill. It's actually air pressure. You put pressure in there and the water goes. It does have a leak on one of the lines underneath it. So that'll have to be fixed. You know, it needs stuff like there's no curtains on it and, you know, upholstery, that kind of stuff. This upholstery is actually new. Someone's redone this upholstery. Back here, you got original shag carpeting still. It doesn't stink. It's clean. Overall, it's very nice. So yeah, there's a quick rundown on that thing. Um, uh, watch for information on it for sale. Uh, I haven't decided if I'm putting it on eBay or put it on a website, but uh, watch for info coming on it soon. Oh, as far as mechanically, runs strong, drives great, the brakes are solid, the um, tranny shifts nice, the motor is strong, the exhaust is noisy, so it needs some exhaust work. Um, it's had a tune-up, probably needs some carburetor tuning a little bit. It's a little uh, flaky on the idle, but runs and drives great. Um, has the power it should doesn't burn oil doesn't leak so um, Yeah, overall it's just kind of a cool old, cool old van. So watch for it up for sale soon Doo -doo.